What if we had the chance to eliminate most deaths from a type of disease that 10% of the world's population suffers from? And what if this breakthrough was only a few years away? Kidneys are a vital organ found in every human that performs several important functions such as filtering the blood of waste products, regulating the body's salt water content, secreting hormones, blood pressure regulation and pH regulation. Damaged kidneys cannot perform these functions properly which can quickly become life threatening. 10% of the world's population suffers from a chronic kidney disease and once the kidneys no longer function at a suitable level, this is known as kidney failure. When a patient reaches kidney failure, they must be put onto dialysis, a giant machine that filters the blood, usually for four hours, three times a week. This process is expensive, many pills are needed to supplement the process and dialysis patients have a life expectancy of just five to 10 years. Most patients on dialysis wait for a kidney transplant, which has a wait list of up to 100,000 people. This means that getting a transplanted kidney can take up to 10 years time, which some people may not have. In addition to this, patients who receive a transplanted kidney need to remain on immunosuppressive drugs for the rest of their lives, increasing their risk of infection. So now we have a brief understanding of why a radical development for treating kidney failure is needed so direly. One method being looked at is a bioartificial implantable kidney. The implantable artificial kidney, or IAK for short, has been in development for a few decades. In this video, we will focus on the efforts of one group called the Kidney Project, headed by Shuvo Roy, who is a bioengineer and a professor at the University of California, San Francisco. The IAK would be made of two parts, a hemofilter, which filters the blood from toxins, and a bioreactor containing live kidney cells, which perform the other critical functions of the kidney. Many advantages exist for the IAK. It can be mass produced. It is resistant to rejection, meaning no immunosuppressant drugs must be taken afterwards. And once implanted, it would potentially work for the rest of the patient's life. How far into development is the IAK? Let's look at a timeline of its development and see just how much progress has been made. The IAK was first conceptualized in 1999 and just seven years later, a patent is released for a silicon pore membrane that can replicate the filtration rate of a kidney by up to 30%. This type of membrane was significant in the fact that no others like it had been developed and it was made from the same material computer chips are made from. Work continued on the silicon membrane until in 2010, the idea of the artificial kidney was unveiled to the public with an initial vision of clinical trials beginning in 2015 to 2017. By this time, an implantable version of the device for animals was already being designed. In 2011, the silicon membrane had been proven to be compatible with human blood, a major milestone towards implanting an artificial kidney in humans. With these promising early results, this led to large donations in 2012, including 2.25 million from the United States National Institute of Health. During this year, a reliable manufacturing method for the silicon membrane was also developed. 2013 and 2014 were quieter years in the news for the development of the IAK, with work continuing on the hemofilter component of the IAK. This is the component that filters the blood. During 2014, criteria for who would be selected for the first clinical trials began to be announced, with the researchers targeting those who had high levels of antibodies in their system and who had been on waiting lists for a longer amount of time. In 2015, even larger donations were coming in, with one up to $6 million from the National Institute of Biomedical Imaging and Bioengineering, which would help to focus on performance optimization of the kidney cells of the bioreactor. Some of the money would also go towards improving the design of the silicon filter, as well as into further studies into the biocompatibility of the entire device. In 2016, preclinical trials in mice were shown to not trigger any kinds of reactions with their immune systems. This buildup was on top of earlier work outside of living animals, with actual trials in living animals beginning to yield real results. This work continued in 2017, with both the bioreactor and the hemofilter components of the IAK both undergoing preclinical trials. In 2018, using computer simulations, the best designs to avoid blood clotting in humans were simulated and evaluated. These designs would undergo further testing in living animals. In 2019, trials of the hemofilter component had scaled to larger animals, such as pigs, with results showing the long-term viability of the device, as well as showing no immunological rejection of the device. Moving into 2020 and beyond, considering the success of the hemofilter component of the device in larger animals, the team has applied for FDA approval to begin testing the hemofilter in humans. The biofilter is also being slowly scaled up to a full-size model to be tested in animals. 
Once approved by the FDA, clinical trials in humans would take several years, with testing of the safety, efficiency and reliability of the device. Several challenges remain, such as testing the relationship between blood and the silicon membrane in real human tests. Having gone from a concept in 2010 to large-scale animal testing on the brink of human trials in 2020, a large amount of progress has been made in just a single decade. In the next decade, will we see a commercial version of the device ready to save millions of lives? Only time will tell for sure, but the future does look very promising. With more progress being made on the IAK every year, it seems we will eventually reach this life-saving cybernetic organ, sooner rather than later. What do you think of the artificial kidney? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and thanks for watching.